Hey everyone, Dismantlin here. This vlog is a, another viewer request. Um, they want me to talk about the split between people who are goth on the outside versus those who are more goth on the inside. And this is a fairly simple topic, and a lot of it's more of a just addressed to specific people and people within the subculture nitpicking. But what it really comes down to is um, the visual. Because, um, I mean, rarely, a lot of people online will admit, or in real life, that rarely do you find a goth who is gothed up all the time. In most cases where this is actually true, it's only a goth that's um, often in the limelight, um, often getting photos taken of them constantly, but it's very rare you find a goth who's goth 24-7 visually, and when I say that I just mean the fashion-wise. Um, some examples would be Adora Batbrat. She is rarely seen without her makeup. I've seen it all without it. Um, Julian Ventures, whenever there's photos taken of her, she's at least, at the minimum, just slightly dressed up. But for the most part, she's in full gothic attire. Um, but these are goths that are often being pictures, taking pictures of them. If there are times when they're not gothed up, there's normally not a camera on them. So that being said, most everyday, today, non-internet famous or regular subculture famous goths, um, there's no, you know, days of the week where they're not fully goffed up. And that's why I don't really see why there should really be that much of a, a split between those, and those who are goffed up all the time and those who aren't. Because it really comes down to it is if you're not really that into the fashion um, of the subculture or if you just can't really afford to be a part of the, the fashion aspect or you don't really have the skills to DIY um, the, the aesthetic, then there's, I mean, there's really no, there really shouldn't be an issue with that because that's just your preference or your lifestyle. Um, I really don't have an issue with anyone who's got on the inside who's got on the outside. I think the main problem I can think realistically speaking in a rational sense now, a rational sense, because a lot of people act out irrationally, in a rational sense it's just harder to identify other goths when um, they don't have any sort of outer um, appearance that lets you know that they're into darker things. Same thing for any alternative subculture. It's just really hard to tell um, you know, if you're part of a subculture when you're just dressed in a mainstream fashion or maybe a, um, just a, like, I didn't try today sort of fashion. And that's the main issue I would really come down to. But if you talk to the person, you would, um, you know, quickly learn what they were into, if they were part of the subculture or not, if them by listening, like, by them listing bands they listen to, or movies they like, or books they re read. You would quickly be able to tell that they were part of the subculture. So it's just a matter of not really judging people by their appearance, which is almost unavoidable in um, most societies. If I was goth 24-7, then I guess I could, I could have a leg to stand on in saying something against those who aren't. But um, a lot of times those who aren't, it's never fully um, a negative reason. It's never like they're really against being fully dressed up all the time. A lot of times they can't, or they're just not that interested into the fashion at all, because there's plenty of people who like um, dark or alternative or goth music, and they don't feel like dressing up at all. There's plenty of people who just wear whatever they feel like, and I am all for people wearing whatever they feel like, and whether it be anything gothy or alternative, or mainstream, or anything else in between that, or outside of that, so... That's all I have to say on that topic. They told you about um, a certain book series they liked, or um, TV shows or movies they were fans of. And my dog's moving around and jingling in the background and ruining the shot. Are you done? Okay. 